Wagwa people, we are back. FIFA 22, Creator Club, Reggae Boy United, FS Hold Eleven, brothers. I'll be back into it. We do have the League Two games to play now till the end of the season. So we've got three goal highlights and two main games in this episode. Can we keep boosting in the feast and head towards that League 2 title? We'll also have some of the January transfer window transfers. Yes, we finally convinced someone to join us. Let's get into the goal. So, one of the main games off camera that you missed was Mansfield at home. And we were beasting and feasting. Kuzatis is turning into a beast this season. But McDermott went flying through. Didn't fancy his chances. Laid it across to Le Crocs. And Le Croc, Le Chic, Magnifique. Makes it 1-0. Doing the Ronaldo celebration and Reggie Boy United. We're one nil up against Mansfield at home. Beautiful thing. But Mansfield came back. Had a throw in deep in our half. 20 minutes to go. Again, the market was shocking. I mean, look at this. I mean, come on, bros. Put the pressure on. Little spin move in there like his damn Chris Brown. And the finish was beautiful. And Mansfield had their equaliser. And for some reason, we're all playing blooming freeze tag on my damn pitch. What's going on, brothers? So one all. And it did end that way against Mansfield. So two points dropped at home. And again, the crowd are on my back now. They're kind of booing me. I went from 92 favourite rated down to about a 69. I don't know what the hell was going on over the last few weeks. I'm not sure what's going on. Whether it's I'm leaving players, selling them. But we did get one in. Babu Grande. Somehow he's Japanese. Don't ask me how. <laughs> that is the least Japanese name I've ever seen in my life, bro. But he did join the 63 rated because... Reeves, our main left back, is doing the same thing as Austin did. Moaned every week about not feeling himself. And I kept saying, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. And then all of a sudden, he goes, turns around and says, where's my new contract? When he had three years on it. So, we've got Bab and Ginde in there as well. Um, I do believe we did a swap deal for Austin. So, Austin went out and we got Bab and Ginde in. But we did some good work this transfer window. I had to mainly try and swap players to get a few in and out. But he did make his debut. He did come on into this next game. The second game that he missed off camera was Newport County. We headed to Wales. And let's see what we can do here. Not much. 35 minutes in. Collins was cleaned through. Whipped it across. And there was Telford. Nice little volley. The rebound. And Johnson should have held on to it. But Telford was a nightmare in the first time we played these teams. Absolute liberties. 1-0 down to the MPC. Yeah, you know me. Oh. But... We found our way back in there again. And beautiful little move from Demir. Little cut back inside. And there's the Greek freak again. What a finish from Kozatis. This man is turning in to the League 2 Gabriel Batistuta, brothers. 1-1. One, one. Kozatis on the rise again. Say my name. Say my name. But... As always, like most things this season, our defending has been shocking. Ball crossed in and there was that power header. Newport County were back in the lead into the second half. And I'm just thinking, here we go again. And it's that man, Telford. Absolute liberties. I might have to look by him next season if we go up. But Kuzatis was in fire today. And Beeson and Feetis. And Kuzatis made it 2-2. And look at that. Honestly, this guy is turning into absolute B. So far, the sign of the season recommended by Scared Nick 15 Big up yourself, Scared Nick. But what a signing he has been so far, brothers. But 2 1. And then in the last fine nine minutes, five minutes to go. Le Crocs with an absolute left Pegasus from heaven, brothers. And we won it 3 2 against Newport County. Came back from behind twice to then win the game. But this is what champions are made of. So beautiful. We'll take that three points away from home. Nicely done. So another signing we got in the transfer window was Weirdo. From Colchester, absolute midfield beast. Our very own Patrick Vieira in midfield. 64 rated. And again, we need that in there. So the thinking is, with Austin going, uh, more our Jamaican captain, he can play centre-back. So I'm going to play more at centre-back. He did have actually more pace than Austin. And drop Weirdo into that centre midfield next to Demir. And that makes it a solid beast in midfield, brothers. So Moore's going to go at centre-back and make him learn that trait. He, le he learns it already, but I'm going to turn him into one. So while we're here, big shout-out to Liam. Tejon Don. Matthew McCann, Scared Nick 15, who is Delta Wagwan Brothers? Thank you for all the comments and the videos as well. And again, keep them coming in. I'll try and give you a shout out as best I can, brothers. And again, Chosen One, Crunchy Peanut Wagwan to you, brother, as well. But yeah, as you can see, the squad is turning up nice. We've still got a lot of dross in there as well, but hey, what can I say? The next one we got in was Ricky! Ricky J. Jones, that's right. Patsy Palmer's coming to every home game now. Ricky! We finally got the man up front. We've got that extra pace that we needed. Don't get me wrong, McDermott was good. Kuzatis and Mike Byrne are good as well. But we needed someone there constantly with Kuzatis. So hopefully they form a great partnership going forward, brothers. So, 
Uh, from there, like I said, we've got Bam Gunde. We've got Staunton as well from Bradford City. And again, he has a high potential young centre-back. Can also play a left-back as well, so he can cover us on the left-hand side if Bam Gunde has a bad day. And again, we've got a nice little swap deal in. I think we got rid of Reeves for him, I think. I do believe in the end. Yeah, Reeves is now finally gone. Rogers is going to run out of his contract end of the season as well. Um, so yeah, we needed some cover on the left side because Rogers is about 35, 36 years old, maybe 56. I don't know the hell knows what's going on. So Bam and Ginde and everybody's in there. So it's looking good defensively now. And again, Moore is playing centre back, but Staunton can drop in there, and we've got that cover. We also signed Aisha as well from Bradford City, not Moesha, Aisha. And again, they've got pace to burn. I mean, look at this kid. This kid is far too damn fast. He's going to go through his shoes every week. But we've got a nice little swap deal as well with Bradford City for that brother. So again, we've got some nice cover on the left wing. Because Swift, again, will go at the end of the season. We don't use him much. Valentin's our main left winger. But it gives us that extra options as well. As you can see, there's quite a lot of youth academy players that I brought up. Um, but the other last one we did make a sign was Loamba. Again, went for the pace. 56 rated. 18 years old, again got a high potential, so he will be our third or fourth choice striker anyway, behind Kuzatis, Reke and Mike Byrne. The rest of the brothers I'll try and loan out, or again we'll release at the end of the season. But yeah, all good things. So the last game that you guys missed was Tramia Rovers, again a team in the top five. We are still battling for automatic promotion. Now the, well the chairman wants <laughs> the championship. If we win the league, that's a bonus. For me, if we just go up to League One, that's the great thing. But as you can see, not a brilliant game for us. 62 minutes in, Tramia took the lead. And again, our home form is shocking. We've got the best away form in the league, but our home form is probably mid-table-ish. Tramia punished us again, though. A few minutes later, Jolly was in. And again, onto his left Pegasus. What a finish. And Tramia did us over, to be fair. They deserved the win, but we were poor. Again, we're conceding goals left, right and centre. Uh, it was obviously a lot of new faces, a change in personnel. So maybe it was a little bit like that. But we lost 2-0 at home. And again, ground was caught back up as in the table. So, we've got two main games going on today, brothers. We've got Hartlepool United away. We've also got Stevenish Borough as well in this game. So we do need six huge points in this episode to try and stay top of the league. So we're starting off with Ophi at right back. Reed was not well. Baba Nunde plays. Solomon Moore goes to centre back. Weirdo again plays in there. Ricky makes his episode debut. What can he do today? Reggie Boy United looking good, looking strong. Like I said, the squad's a lot better now. And hopefully this team can ride us to the League 2 title. Let's get into this. Here's Kuzatis. Nice little spin move again onto his left foot, right foot. It's Danger Man. Oh, hurry! Oh, okay. Prison rules, huh? We're not doing penalties today. What kind of dog the bounty hunter challenge was that anyway? What the hell? Oh, my Lord. Here's Dolomolo. And Hartlepool United are in behind. Nice little cut inside. Hartlepool. Oh, 1 0 down. Referee. Come on, man. My brother got snipered out of the. What? I can't believe this. Kuzatis might have a reputation for diving in this league now. 1-0 down to Hartlepool United. Absolute liberties. All right, here's Demir. The Turkish maestro. Nice little footwork. Beautiful. Out wide to Babo Gende. He looks absolutely shattered already on the red bar. Headed across. Oh, beautiful head from Ricky. Hits the post, though. And Hartlepool survive. Ricky nearly getting his debut goal. Here's Kuzatis. Spin move into Ricky J. Jones. And again, these two linking up already. Looking like Dwight York and Andy Cole back in the day. Here's Ricky. Ricky all around. Ricky! Oh, beautiful. <laughs> Left Pegasus from Ricky J. Jones. Say his name, brothers. Beautiful. What a goal. What his first goal for Reggie Boy United. And what a way to get it. Ricky J. Jones. Top bins indeed. My goodness. Look at this round one. Round another, a third came across and then disappeared. <laughs> what a left Pegasus from Ricky. And that's the equaliser. All right, into the second half now. Hartlepool penned in. Reggie Boy United can smell danger. We can smell fear. Nicely done. Here's Hulligan. Back out wide to Ferguson. That's a cut back in. We've got our shape back now. Get there, weirdo. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I need there for, brother. Challenges like that. And we're on the rise again. Here's Kuzatis into Demir. Can Demir get there? Oh, blocked away though. Ricky trying to put that block in. And Hartlepool again, playing under pressure, trying to get rid of the ball. Nice interception to go from Kuzatis again. Dropped in, here's Valentin to Kuzatis. Back to Valentin on the wing! And it's 2-1! The Frenchman with that left Pegasus. Beautiful! All right, 25 minutes to go. Can we seal the victory here now? Hartlepool on the ropes. Here's Valentin. Back inside to Demir. Again, the midfield slowing down a bit, getting a bit tired. They are a young team. Where do, though? Nice little ball inside. Ricky's made that run. Ricky cuts back. Onto left Pegasus. Ricky! Oh, the save of the keeper. Gets the rebound. Back into the mix. Oh, and Hartlepool clear their lines. Still 2-1. 15 minutes to go now. Lock out wide to Ferguson. 
Little acres of space to run into. Cuts inside to Aloma. Has a spin move. Got runners on the right hand side. We're not watching our markers and the shot from distance and it's in. The referee said it's crossed the line and Hartlepool have equalised. Who the rats was that? Carlos Alberto playing at Hartlepool. Come on, FIFA. Oh my goodness. 2-2. Two, two. Oh, five minutes to go. Come on, man. We've dominated this game. Can't let them goals go in like that. Kuzatis, nice little spin move. There's Ricky J. Jones again. Ricky! Off the inside of the post. False Kuzatis. Surely it is. 3-2. Kuzatis to the rescue. Him and Ricky have torn Hartlepool to pieces. And again, we're having to outscore teams. We can't defend for crap. But my goodness, we can score some bangers. Beautiful. The Wataguay Massive travelling to Hartlepool. Seeing an absolute beast of a game. Ricky off the post. And then Kuzatis with the rebound. Let's hold on now, brothers. Last few seconds. Can we do it? Aloma. Little spin move. Johnson holds on to it. Blow the down whistle referee. He does. And we get all three points. My goodness. That was close. 3 2. Reggae Boy United win at Hartlepool. Absolute beautiful. Hartlepool can't believe it. But we deserved it. They had maybe three or four chances. That was it all game. We shouldn't have conceded them goals, though. All right. Got some questions from the media. We'll lay it on me, brother. Look like the game was going to end up. Yeah, well, it was going to end up your way. Hey, we kept on fighting to the end. Don't worry about us. Uh, I ain't travelling all the way up to Hartlepool in the rain to get nothing. The boys played well. We got three points in the bag. We've got to keep pressing on with the press on. Trying to look forward to that League 2 title. Uh, that's twice you've beaten Hartlepool. Do you think you got the edge of them now? Um, ain't nothing about that. It's all about what we do. You know what I'm saying? Doesn't matter who's in front of us. We've got to win each week now until the end of the season. And try and get this club higher up the divisions. Alright, he managed to get the deciding goal. And win in the end. Let me watch between the teams going through the game. Um, did you watch the same game, bro? They had literally three chances. We had about 45, okay? We just couldn't finish. Now, the defending needs to be better. But like I say, we'll outscore any team in this division. But yeah, don't say the game was nearly close. Don't give me that. They had two major chances. They got it. That second goal, I don't think went over the line, to be honest. You need to recheck that crap, okay? We don't get any VAR in League 2, but somehow this referee can see from a mile away. All right, let's move on. So, next game, Stevenage Borough. These are a good side in this league too. Again, good solid team. But I feel faithful in the team. The only thing I don't like is the fact we're playing at home. I don't know what it is. At home, we are just absolute trash. So, Reed's back in there now. Uh, Hugo Woods in there with more. We're doing Demir. Continue their link up. Jones and Kozatis up top. So, we managed to keep a settled side. Aisha's on the bench as well. So, he can come on and do his ting. But, yeah, we're looking good, brothers. Maybe next season we do need to improve the right back position. And maybe another centre back. I don't know. But we'll see how this team fares in League One. Could be a struggle, but we've also got some great Youth Academy players coming through. We've got a Brazilian now in the Youth Academy. He looks decent as well. So hopefully he can make join the rise in League One if we get there. But anyway, here we go. Early chance. Oof, cross whipped in from Steve and his brother. And again, we can't, again, we're conceding these crosses, bro. We've got to stay tighter at the back. All right. Deep throw in Steve and his half. Only 16 minutes gone. I always feel at home we need to score first. Otherwise, we're doomed. The fans get on our back and we can't do a damn thing. All right, here's Demir. Nice little spin move outside. Valentin, beautiful. Babangardi. Nice little ball in. Ah, defended well though. Played in again. Here's Ricky. The spin move. Good block from the Stevenage brother defender. Steven De Bruyne now can counter attack. This is where we look bad. Oh my goodness. One ball through. This is what I'm talking about. Reads in. Get across Woods. Nicely done, Woods. Can we get rid of it now? Beautiful. To Babangidi. Maybe I've got to stop these fullbacks making these runs. I think it leaves us a little bit short at the back. Because Atis though looks up and Ricky's in. Ricky J. Jones. Can he get his second goal for Reggae Boy United? He does. Ricky J. Jones. His first home goal for Reggae Boy United. And what an episode for Ricky. Does it again. 1 0 up here against Steven Ishborough. And that's what I'm talking about. We need to score first. We play at home. We can't run the risk of going behind. Like I said, the crowd gets on our back. We find it difficult to find them equalizers and winners. But Ricky puts us 1-0 up. Can we get some more? Here's Valentin again on the wing. What can he do? Can he find a body? Whips it back across to Demir. Inside to Weirdo. Oh, would have been his first goal for the club. Must have been inches wide from Weirdo. Here's more now. Out right side to Reed. It's all regular boy United at the moment. That's a poor touch though inside. And Daly can send Reed. And we've got no bloody pace at the back. Put him off. Blow in his ear. Kick him. Oh, <laughs> nicely done. <laughs> More kicked his ankle and put him off. The referee didn't see it. We got away with one there. All right, here's Weirdo into Demir. Beautiful spin move again from the midfield maestro. That guy is so silky in midfield, man. Nice little ball across. Here's Kuzatis. He's in again. The Greek feet open his body up. Oh, good save from the goalkeeper. Should have been 2-0. Into the second half now. Corner ball. Whipped in. Can we get the second ball rebound? Nicely done. Back inside again. There's Walton. Jack Cousteau. 
And again, Steven is Borough clear their lines. They defend well in groups. Oh, just over half an hour to go. Oh, a referee, Madame Ankles. We do ride in the challenges. What a signing he's been so far. Hiskozatis, the Greek freak, breaks into position. Beautiful, left his man for dead. What can he do? Can he find anyone? To Demir. Beautiful footwork from Demir. The maestro. Oh, beautiful. The left Pegasus of dreams. Demir, the midfield maestro out here looking like Yavi and Iniesta put together. What a move from the little maestro. What a finish. I forgive you for wearing Alice Band and having a haircut like Rod Stewart. It doesn't make a difference. What a move. Touch his side. Oh, beautiful. Rides the challenge. And then left Pegasus finished by the keeper. 2 0. We needed that second goal. All right. What are that? 25 minutes left to go. Steven is brewing. I have to push players forward. Can we get them on the counter attack? This is daily at the moment, no. Cuts inside. Nicely done. Oh, but Gavangir has been nutmegged at the same time. Shot from distance and it trickles wide. Come on, they're still showing they're a threat. Free kick now. Coker's over it. Steps over it again. Here's Coker now. Off the post. Oh, and the rebound falls for Steven for a player. You spawn he gets. My lord, it's 2 1. Can you believe it? Off the post and straight to a Stevenish player. And they've got 23 minutes left to try and find this equaliser now. Come on, boys. Let's hold on. Here's Ricky trying to make some moves in the box. Yes, again, no damn penalty in there. For real, what's going on? Here's Ricky one more time. Little move inside. Nicely done. Taisha, Aisha finishes. Beautiful. His first goal for the club. Like, ah, oh, no, the flag is up. Damn. Aisha nearly got his first goal for the club. Why the hell is Javi the linesman? <laughs> you know what happened to him after <laughs> when he retired and he turned into a linesman? Come on, FIFA. Give the guy some credit. Oh, his Bundegaard anyway. Last minute now. Can we hold on? Four minutes of injury time. Touch inside though. Here's Kozati to good end it. And a good save from the keeper. That would have surely sealed all three points. But we've done it. Referee blows his whistle. Six points out of six in the two main games. Just what we needed. Beautiful. We had to battle for both of them. We're still conceding stupid goals. But hey, we're still winning games. 2-1 here at Kate Stevensboro. And finally a home win. And again, the boys are settling nicely. All right, let me do this media crap before I got to go. All right, what's going on? Did you do enough today? Was there room for improvement when you're out of possession? Uh, again, it's a tough game against Stevenisborough. They put hard work in, but we did our thing. Did your boys deserve the win today? Cause I'm proud of the boys. Of course we deserve the win, man. When you got skills like Demir on there, cutting inside and finishing like he did, you deserve the W. Your team managed to hang on for the win in the second half. It looks like Stevenish might find an equaliser. I mean, really, bro? Where did it find you, man? Which which games do you watch? Even when Steven Isborough scored, we were on the ascendancy, and Willie scored a third, man. You need to do your research, bro. Honestly, man. I'm getting sick of these interviews, Tim. All right, I'm out, man. I'm out. All right, so we are top of the league, brothers, by four points, but Bristol Rovers do have a game in hand, but mainly we are seven points ahead of Tramier in that playoff position. If we finish top three, I'll be happy as Larry, whoever the hell Larry is, but the guy is happy. I've never met a Larry, so I don't know if they're happy anyway, but hey. It is what it is. I will play probably uh, Exeter and Harrogate Town off camera. Uh, maybe even more so. Maybe come back for the Rochdale and the Scunfort game, I'm thinking. So, again, three games off camera. Two main games. Try and get this season finished, brothers. Uh, but, again, thank you for all the support. Thank you for the likes. Again, the likes really help the channel. The likes make it find the videos, find other people out there in the world. So, keep liking, keep subscribing. Like I said, we are trickling our way to 5k i've been doing this just over two years now so i'm going at a snail's pace but as long as you guys enjoy the series i'll keep on producing the videos brothers so again keep liking subscribing leave your comments about your favorite parts again like i said let me know if you've used the word absolute liberties at any point during your life again tell me about the saves and stuff like that you've got down as well let me know who you are you've done create a club i always like to have a chat join us on discord as well i'm always on there chatting if need be Okay, going through all the teams, you can see, looking beasting and feasting, Aisha's in there looking good, 65 rated, like I say, Swift will go, Cole and them lot are on loan, I'll see how they do when they come back, if they're still trash, they'll get sold, he looks good, Patrick Deli could do a job, this is the Brazilian I was talking about, Alessandro Dele Oliveira, I'm looking forward to using that brother, Weirdo's in there as well, Le Crocs. Again, mainly a bench player now with Crocs, but still doing his thing, Canales looks good, the Mexican Youth Academy player, right brothers, I am out, smash the like button, Hit the subscribe button. Peace and love, brothers and sisters. And I'll see you on the flip side. Peace.